I'm Chan Wrigley and welcome back to The Wine O'Clock Show. This week we talk about rocking a bikini body at any age, being scored on your hotness at a Melbourne university, our new $5 note, Tara Brown and a whole lot more. Who are our special guests? Well, you're about to find out. show it is friday it is five o'clock and this week we're we're heating up a bit with a bit of uh what is it glam and we're hitting the champagne instead of wine this week i'm a bit scared because i think jack and becca are about to take over my show <laughs> <laughs> we haven't said a word yet <laughs> but ladies let's get this party started with our favorite Woo-hoo, champagne yes. first my favorite. Oh, look, at just, look at you all just like me, 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 me first i'm first no, no oh. actually i'll allow you no, no, thank no, no, you no. Well, i don't mind being last Lucky last. Lucky last, Lucky exactly. Last. She gets the drinks, though, no, just You joking. call that like a pro. <laughs> uh, it, you know, I've Would had, you I've had a few. You've done this a few times. It's all in the wrist. It's all in the wrist. It's all in the porridge. And you know that if it's overflowing, you're going to stick your finger in yeah. there. Yeah. Oh, really? From, yeah. It that's stops it from spilling over. Well, oh, girls, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Happy Friday. Cheers, girls. This old girl living out Cheers, everyone. Cheers. So... Beck and Jack, tell us a little about your venture together. Yeah. We, we've got lots of exciting things planned, don't we? Yes, we do. So the Beck and Jack show, we've, we've been, it's currently in production. Yep. Uh, lots of creative stuff going on behind the scenes, um, getting ready for our big launch. Yeah, we're not ready yet, so we can't give too much okay. away. Well, we'll give away this much. Who have we got? Filming with us t- tomorrow. We have as our special guest. We're filming an episode tomorrow. Paul Taylor from We News. Nice. Very nice. Nice. Yes. So look, we're going to have a guest each week, but we're a mixed bag of glorious energy. So we're all about empowering women and cheering gorgeous women on like yourselves, uh, which brought Stop us, <laughs> <laughs> which brought us on the couch here today, didn't it? Yeah. So uh, we're a mixed bag of things from professional to craziness to spirituality. Uh, we're just going to be that little bit different, but you'll just have to you'll just have to watch ladies and everyone else and yeah. see. But we'd love to have you guys on there one time. Absolutely. Really? Last week, nine-year-old Irene Carney had all eyes on her after receiving admiration over her holiday snap, rocking a polka dot bikini. Now, bikini shots and body images are all over our media and front pages of our magazines. So, what is our obsession with bikini shots and does it matter what age you are or body type to wear a bikini? Oh, I think uh, absolutely not. Everyone, every woman, every goddess should stand in their own power and if they like their body, why not rock it? And people that judge, are they perfect? Mm. Seriously, I, I just think people should need to get over themselves and just be happy that they feel comfortable in that. She looked absolutely divine. She did. Being, she yeah. looked she extremely so cute. cute. And you know so what? Cute. She wore it so well. The way it's a sea folly um, yep. bikini, yep. Yep. and the way that she did it, like it's high waisted yeah. here, and she looked absolutely yes. divine. Yeah. But you've got the likes of Albert First and Sydney Crawford and all them rocking their bikinis as well. And do you know what? Oh, I'm high fiving high yeah. them. Oh, oh, and of course, it's fantastic. That, they're all women that work out like daily. They're not the average woman. Like when you see, like things like New Idea, they, they always want to post a picture of somebody in their bikini, a celebrity who is overweight or cellulite or, you know, and, and poke fun at it. That's terrible. Yeah. I think it's terrible yeah. to poke fun. And I think. What I loved, especially about the 90-year-old woman, is what a great role model for yes. these young girls to look at this gorgeous 90-year-old rocking her polka dot bikini oh, she instead of seeing the perfectly airbrushed, sculpted, you know, model, what, model yeah, yeah. That, that is what usually is shown in magazines. So mm-hmm. I'm, I think it's If she walked past me on the beach, I'd say, oh, she's just adorable. Oh, yeah. I would never tell her how beautiful yes. she looks. I yes. love doing that. Yeah. Yeah. So let's drink to the 90 year old. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's just drink. Let's just drink. Let's just drink. Let's just drink, she says. <laughs> a university student who has spoken out against misogynistic men who are creating a rape culture is now being trolled. University of Melbourne law student had created a petition against a derogatory Facebook page, Hotties of Melbourne University, which was created so people could rate women on their appearance and write offensive comments on pictures post- posted to the page without permission. 
Since taking her stand, the law student has suffered a backlash with one man posting a humiliating meme that suggests the law student was fighting to tear down the page because she wasn't hot enough. Should we be allowing this type of behavior in our schools? Well, I think it's degrading. Mm. I think it's degrading. And I think it's just setting that precedent of being judged on your looks alone. Mm. And surely we've come far enough now in 2016 that we're not doing that anymore, that Mm. uh, things hopefully are changing. I know we've got a long way to go, but you know, there's Mm. a lot of um, magazines and the media is changing slightly and bringing in like plus size models, which really they're just not real. Um, but isn't it the average now is a 12 to 14? Yeah, that is your exactly. an average size yeah. woman now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think, but I also think just everybody should be, everybody should be loved for what they are, whether they're skinny. I mean, I've had the opposite growing up where I struggled to gain weight, yeah. uh, especially after I had kids. Yep. And I felt embarrassed about my body. I didn't love my body at that time because mm. I felt I was too skinny. Mm. And I would get, you know, women saying, oh, you know, you're so lucky. And I'm thinking I would give anything to just put on a bit of weight and yep. I'm really struggling to do it. Yep. So I think everybody has got their struggles that they go through mm. and struggling to love their bodies. Mm. So. You know, to, to then have that come up and, and be completely judged just on I mean, your do you body. Think, you know, when you're hot, you know you're hot. You, you know, do they just wanting that validation that I am hot and I just want yeah. everyone to tell me I'm hot? A lot, a lot of people get their power power by that. So a lot of the girls that are hot, uh, I've talked to a lot of girls that are, and they have actually have a lot of self-esteem issues. Insecurity. So the only validation they feel is, is what their looks are. So they need that power from the outside to say, I actually am. But they're probably the most, a lot of them are the most, most self-conscious insecure. people yeah. that you will ever Extremely come across. Because yeah. that's how they, they need that validation all the time because that's what they feel that they're worth. Yeah. So mm. it's not from within their self. And I've actually been down that road for a couple of years myself. So I've worked through it and now, you know, I can rock the no makeup, going to Woolies, uh, where before I'd be like, no, I'm not going. Hey, with that, my face. In your active wear, please tell me in your active wear. wear. <laughs> of course, <laughs> rock my active wear. <laughs> wear. The Reserve Bank of Australia has unveiled the design of the new $5 banknote, which includes new security features to prevent counterfeiting. The new banknotes will be issued into circulation from September 1st. The innovative new security features have been incorporated to help keep Australia's banknotes secure from counterfeiting in the near future. Are we liking our new five dollar note? I ain't liking it at all. <laughs> what do you guys think? No, I think it's a bit. It looks a bit um, plain money. Like yeah, money. yeah. With yeah. the way that they've done the is it the wattles they've done yeah. on the inside? And Queen Elizabeth, she looks really yeah. abnormal. Like they tried habit. to Photoshop her. Yeah. And you know what it looks like? I don't know. And the one of the things bird. that they said is that they didn't fix the whale yeah, the whale. thing. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> And they've got that bird. I think that's the only thing it's still got going. Yeah. <laughs> the bird, that colourful bird next to the head, the Queen's head, and then there's another bird in there. You know, if Robe was still on, we'd send that to Robe as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So do you agree? Like, you know, we're in, we're at a time in the country where you know we have poverty, we have homeless, we have farmers struggling. Mm. Don't you think that 90 million could have been spent absolutely somewhere else? No, so do we farmers. really need to. Reproduce no. a five dollar right. exactly. note this time in life. Yeah. Well, yeah. where you are know, the priorities? Yeah. If, if if there was that many counterfeits going on and it was going to cost our country, fair enough. So if it was going to cost us the ninety million at the end of the day, I understand. But what about the farmers or Australia's biggest killer, which is mental health problems mm-hmm. and suicide? Why not put it back into the mental health system and evaluate what Australia needs more than a five dollar note? Honestly, even these flowers are a lot more attractive than that five dollar mm-hmm. note. Yeah. Yeah, I've the great flowers. Thing. Flounder Florist has mm. uh, supplied our flowers today, they're and they're beautiful. They've really mixed in well with our theme. The Look, great great theme. I love well it. Done. Yeah. Well done. Congratulations. We'll drink to that. We'll drink to that. <laughs> can, I, can I butt in for a yes. sec? Yes. And I Go. really love. Are you taking over my show now? Just for a second. <laughs> let, let, let's you know, take over. You know, you're psychic. You predicted this. Yeah, I would love. Over. Can we give you? Can we crown you as as goddesses today, as fellow goddesses? Absolutely. Okay. So here we go. Okay, I'm in the blue one. Ooh, the do we need to get dress. down on one yeah. knee? Do we need to do the one knee thing? There we go. Oh, we're not knighting you. We're just crowning you. We're not. Knighting you. We're not we're we're knighted. Knighted. What are we crowning for? Because we're goddesses. We're goddesses. We're goddesses. So, we're all goddesses. Uh, so we're all goddesses, and every woman out there okay. should should. Am I crowned okay? Yes, just come out of here. Yeah, you're. Yeah. Every woman watching out there needs to to know their worth and see the beauty within themselves. And even if you don't have your own crown. 
You just pretend you're wearing a crown and you're Rocket Girl. Well, he's yes. to all the goddesses. He's yes. to all the goddesses. Yeah. My auntie, who my uncle's dying at the moment, she looks forward to watching the show oh, every Friday. Oh, does What's your auntie's name? Oh, Jen, Jen Rutley. So Jen I just Rutley. want to Hi, give Hi, Jen. Hi, Jen. Hi, Jen. Hi, Jen. Jen Rutley. Love you. Let's drink to Jen. Let's drink, Let's drink to Jen. Drink to Jen. Oh, oh, we need to bubbles. Oh, God. Stop. Stop. Shut, shut the front shut door. The front door. <laughs> I thought you were going to say something else. I probably was. You've got to put a muzzle on me sometimes. There you go. I don't think they'd be able to invent one to stop you. Finger! <laughs> <laughs> Oops. One of our TWOS fans. Yes. Well done. Hope you enjoy this week's show. Tara Brown and 60 Minutes are in hot water this week over a kidnapping plot. Reporter Tara Brown and three other members of a 60 Minutes Australia team are facing several charges of offences relating to kidnapping in Lebanon. The team will face four charges, including one relating to kidnapping and assault. Your heart can't help but go out to Tara, to Tara who is a mother of two children. Jack, your thoughts? I would really? like to yep. know what, and, and we haven't heard the whole story about how it even led up to them going in and actually attempting to kidnap these kids. Mm. I mean, kidnapping is illegal. Yes. So I would love to know what were they thinking. And I can understand the perspective. This mother, we don't know the story. Mm. So allegedly the father took the kids, you know, um, against her wishes to, to Lebanon. Um, so it was a sort of a, a rescue mission to go and retrieve them back. Mm. But um, I don't know. What, what are is we that missing? Question, yeah. Is it there... a question of, well, okay, well, how did he do that? Exactly. If she had custody of the children or yeah. she, you know, if he has illegally abducted yeah. those children and taken them to Lebanon, then don't you think that, that she's within her right to try and get her children back? Well, if I, there's no court order to say, well, he's got full custody, sorry, love, you don't. It doesn't, it doesn't matter when you're over there. I mean, there's so many... There's different laws. So yeah, if is. you don't have full custody, only because I'm going through this right now, so unless you actually have full custody by, by a judge, you, both parents have the same legal rights. So yeah. if they had already had passports, for instance, he could take them out of the country legally without telling her because he has just as much right as the mother unless she already has uh, full custody. So the mother has to fight back in the courts to gain custody back. So in saying that, I would say he's, you know, taken off with the kids mm. legally out of Australia mm. because, you know, it's, it is legal, yeah. even though they've resided with the mother prior. So I get, as a mother to another mother, I would move heaven and earth mm. to, to, to get my children back yeah. if they were taken from me. And I feel Tara has gone in out of her heart space as a mother, probably not thought about the consequences well, she's probably, probably told by Channel Night, by, by uh, a current affair, the, 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 the 60 you, minutes, yeah, sorry, that... Yeah. Um, Do it. Go this ahead. Is story. This is yeah. the but story. But they yeah. that he actually um, kidnapped those children. Well, it is, kidnap it is kidnapping when uh, you take them out of the country without the mum knowing. Mm. But legally, if they have passports, it's not. Mm, it's and you know not. what? To Tara, we wish yes. you all the best, and yeah, the cameraman definitely. and everyone involved. And the mum, she mum's also in prison in Lebanon. And, well. and we just hope everyone sorts yeah. this out in a peaceful manner, and these kids get reunited with both both However, parents. However, it's yep. got to work out for best for the poor kids. Yes, and and my heart breaks Tara for them. So yeah. let's yeah. drink to yep. the to everyone. Yeah. Okay. Cheers. All right, ladies, it is that time of the day where we close the show off with the Never Have I Ever game. If, you watch, if you're a big fan of the show, you will know what it's all about. There is no lying in Never Have I Ever, nope. so it is truthful. And um, if you've got a little story that goes along with it, we love to hear those too. So because I've only got yep. three paddles, I don't actually get a paddle today. Oh, so I'm just going to ask we can the question. Share. Yeah, we'll share. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Thank you. So I we have... Which one? We know which yeah. one. Yeah. 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 I have okay. switch. I have never. They're the uh, two options you have for these questions. I like little. this game. <laughs> this is where all the laughs happen. Mm. <laughs> it's been a serious show today. We're going to end it with a, <laughs> end it with a few giggles. <laughs> never have I ever dyed my pubic hair. Oh. Mm. I've never. No. I've never. No. I've never. No. But I'm thinking I'm needing to. There's a few greys happening down there. Oh, so, yeah. you've never, so you've never been well, jazzled your bejazzled? Jazzled. No, no, never. No. Wow. No bejazzled the JJs. Well, do you know why? I we don't I don't, well, I don't have, have hair. hair. Do you no? Have you <laughs> <laughs> There's no hair down there. <laughs> have you
have you, because you're in beauty yes. so, as well, have you had people come in asking you to dye? Yeah, so look, I've, I've, I've done the, for Valentine's Day, I've done the pink Aww. spray paint and a couple of dye monties. So really? it's bejazzling without bejazzling. I'm not a trained bejazzler. What about, are there people that want the, what do they say, the curtains to match the carpet or whatever? So, well, <laughs> no, I've just done pink or red spray paint. That's so funny. Uh, pink or, or I've waxed uh, the na- like the initial. So if it's an M, for instance, I'll put an M in the fanny. That would be so hard to do. Are you really? Yeah. So what is it? A stencil that you place on there? And then no, you I just create. Down. I just create. You have so, you so. have a lot of intimacy with people's fannies. <laughs> obviously, <laughs> look, let's not go there. But I have had a she lot of intimacy with fannies. <laughs> <and personal. laughs> story she was telling us before. Oh my god. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, 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 that one. Yeah. yeah. Never have I ever twerked in public. Oh, we were talking about this yesterday <laughs> on the radio show. We did it yesterday. I have never because I don't know how to twerk. Well, you try, she tried yesterday in we, the studio on radio, by the way. She, we didn't, no, she didn't we, quite get there. We even got Laurie to give it a try. I don't think he understands. Laurie Atlas was, was... Was it twerking just like wiggle on the bum? Wiggle on the bum. No, I could do it, but I'd knock myself out. No, like, it's, yeah. it's pelvic, like, pelvic... Yeah. Backwards and forwards. Yeah. yeah. And with your ass, woo, shaking. All right, a bit yeah. like Mickey, Mickey, Mickey How's it go? How's it go? So we won't get into that, but can we all say we do a good shimmy? Oh, we oh, do. Oh, 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 shimmy. Shimmy. oh, I shimmy. Shimmy. Let's shimmy. shimmy. I can't shimmy because shimmy. I've got my boobs to shimmy. I'm you the can queen of shimmy. shimmy. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I'm the queen of shimmer. I always shimmer. Mm, I'm a shimmer too. Yeah, my, 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 my daughter goes, oh, mum, please don't. Knock me out. Look out. My son, no. Just no, mum. Just, just no. Just no. Never have I ever not wiped because there was no toilet paper. Oh, I have. No. We, haven't we all? Really? No, I what have kind of... never. And do you want to know why? What do you I do? Always dry? Eat... No. <laughs> no, no, no. I got this when I went to um, down to one of those music festivals. I always kept a packet of those um, little tissue, oh, the little little tissue packets yeah. in my little pocket yeah. because you know we go to music festivals, mm. there's never any toilet paper. And... Since that, I've always kept a couple of tissues oh, in my bra. That's, that's why your boobs are so big. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I've got a packet full of tissues. Sorry. I was and actually at mine. Woolies the other day. I needed to go to the toilet. Busted through the door. <laughs> sat down. Done my wee. And then looked and there was no oh. toilet paper. And I'm like sitting there going... And Michaela was in doing like the great and paying for the groceries because I was like busting. Oh no! And so it was like 20 minutes later. I'm like, she's got to come and find me she's sooner or later. She's got to come and find me. She did. She walked in. and goes, Are "You okay, Mum? I just need some toilet paper, please." Oh. <laughs> Never have I ever dumped someone. Oh, I have. Yeah. Oh, at high school I have. I have. Yeah. In high yeah. school. In high school. Did you say I have? Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm the dumper. Oh. <laughs> No, well, I'm, I'm the heartbreaker. I've been drinking to yeah. be a heartbreaker. Drink to heartbreakers. Well, I've been on both ends, so... Oh, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Not lately. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. I'm retired. <laughs> <laughs> All waxed up and nowhere to go. <laughs> Never have I ever angrily thrown a drink in someone's face. Yes. Oh, you're a bit quick to jump on that. Yeah. Many yeah. times, actually, uh, several. I don't think I have. Yeah, <gasps> I haven't. You must do it. It's such a powerful thing. It's, it's very cathartic. cathartic. I've actually done better Is it than just a drink. Therapeutic? I've actually tipped. I got really upset with my husband one night. <laughs> oh. And I ended up tipping. I thought, I'm going to show you. I got <laughs> tipping a whole bottle of rum down the kitchen <gasps> sink in front of him oh. and his mates going, you know what? You want to be a pack of mm mm. I'm going to show you and just tip the whole lot down. I threw green cordial, two litres of green cordial over the, the father of Jaden because he was wanting to go out to the nightclub. I was only young. I'm like, you're not going out because he used to go out every weekend. And I was desperate for him not to go out. So I got the green cordial and I shook it all over him, two litres all over my oh. house. He still went out. Oh, and oh, you had to clean up the mess. I had to clean up the yes. mess. And all I got was a kiss and a cuddle because he couldn't believe I went to that extreme just to keep him home. Oh. And he thought oh. I was adorable. <laughs> Never have I ever stuck my hand in a toilet to retrieve something. Yes, yes I have. <laughs> Never. Sad. Really? really? I have. Mine's been my phone. If it's gone down that phone, room, if it's gone down that thing, it can stay down there. No. Your phone? 
Was I actually one, saved yeah. a phone. I got it the day before, and I was working at the Bardrum Tavern at the time, and I dropped my brand new pink flip phone into the toilet. I went <gasps> straight in. Was it a Motorola? Yes, it yes. is. <laughs> and, uh, and it still worked. I could not believe really? it. Really? Yeah, it was it's fine. like the five second rule. Because I was just <laughs> like, I was quick as lightning. That's what I found. Yeah, so. I've done it twice. Phone, down the toilet, yes. twice. Yes, I've done, I've done the phone, down yep. the toilet. Really? Yep. I've done, um, and I'm just trying to remember because I remember being in a nightclub and I, it wasn't my phone, but it was something. It was a, like car keys or something. Something out of your bag. It. Mm. And it wasn't, it, was, it mm. wasn't what I wanted to do. And you can't in. stick can't anything do down like there because you've got nothing you can't. there. No. It's your hand and you know, or nothing. Maybe we should start taking some tongs in our handbags. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Never have I ever purposely left a belonging with an ex to have an excuse to go back. No. Yes. My so, classic yeah. leaving is my earrings. Oh, is it? Yes. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah, Always leave the earrings. Yeah, leave the earrings. Do you, is that mark. your like call card? That's my call, call card. card. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so normally they call and say, oh, you've left your earrings, you'll have to come and pick them up. <laughs> oh, Do you oh, think that they know now? Yes, they're expensive, I must pick them up. <laughs> Got them from like the dollar shop. <laughs> Just in case Just I don't case. call. <laughs> reject shop. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good meaning, doesn't it? <laughs> Just in case I get rejected. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Love it. It was such a great day. Thank you so much for joining me on the show today. Thanks for having us. Thank you, Jane. Thanks. Great great to be here. Yes. Yes. Great weekend to everybody. Thanks for watching this week's episode of The Wine O'Clock Show. And thanks to Beth McMillan and Jack Chappell for joining me on the couch. Viewers, we want your feedback. So please leave your comments on our Wine O'Clock Show Facebook page about this episode. And don't forget to like our page while you're there. Also, you can subscribe to iStyle TV on YouTube to catch each and every episode as it airs. We are here on Facebook every Friday at 5 p.m. And we look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, here's cheers and have a fabulous weekend.